Hi, and welcome to BMC Training Labs, the comprehensive resource for BMC products and technologies. This lab is focused on the all-new Time Machine 01 and the two unique cockpit options that are available for this new weapon of speed, and why riders would choose one or the other. The new Time Machine is the first triathlon-specific bike from BMC, and it's uniquely optimized for the middle and long-distance course events. By positioning this bike as a triathlon-specific bike, we mean three things. First, a freshly designed aerodynamics package. Second, discipline-specific component function. And third, a robust fitting system for optimizing rider positions. To understand the origins of the two cockpit options, we focus on the new aerodynamic form. Although the previous time machine performed excellent in wind tunnel analysis, we reached out to the Swiss aerodynamics powerhouse Sauber Engineering to find every opportunity for an even better bike and rider system. Their world-class research and development team accepted the task of partnering with our own engineers to develop a bike that performs faster than previous generation time machines in straight line speed, but also serves as a new benchmark in crosswind stability. After three years of work, the engineers at Sauber and BMC found a unique opportunity to leverage a completely new approach at cockpit development. In short, what they found was that traditional cockpits perform extremely well in low pad stack situations, or put more simply, when the rider is in a low and aggressive front end position, things are moving nice and smoothly along the system, causing minimal disruption to smooth air flow. You can see the particle flow of the traditional or flat cockpit here. However, as taller pad stack configurations are required, Sauber found a disproportionate level of increased drag beyond that of what they anticipated with increased frontal area alone. In other words, it was more complex than just more frontal area, more drag. I'll explain a little bit further. The rider and bike push more wind, simple, but with the help of the Medusa arm airflow tool, Sauber found something that was more critical to the overall system performance. When the chin, torso, and arms are elevated, there's exposure of the lower torso and moving legs. What Sauber found was that this created a back pressure towards the front of the bike, resulting in a substantial decrease in overall performance. The image here is worth a thousand words. What you see is a tall front end and an incredibly turbulent system. This was an obvious opportunity for improvement. Sauber believed that there was a solution, and together with our engineers, the V-Cockpit was born. The V-Cockpit introduces an early split in airflow to introduce a flow stream that lessens the impact of the torso and the thighs. This design performed faster than any other high stack configurations that we tested against. These images from the final Sauber analysis explain the effect well. As you can see, particle flow is similar to that of a traditional cockpit with a low rider position. Mission accomplished. Aside from aerodynamic performance, another difference of the V-Cockpit is the lateral and forward offset pillars. These bring additional comfort by introducing a touch of vertical compliance similar to that of an offset seat post. Finally, as you can see here, the flat cockpit has a base bar that can be flipped. Some riders prefer taller base bar locations and some riders prefer super low, so have it your way. The sizing of each of these can be found on our automated time machine sizing protocol tool, which is currently accessible through BMC retailers only. Simply have your retailer enter your known elbow pad stack and reach coordinates, and the system will help you choose the best frame size and cockpit options. For those of you who are experienced bike fitters or would like to review the detailed sizing information, we offer an Excel sizing matrix in the support and manual section of the BMC Switzerland website. The takeaway? For riders using extremely low and aggressive positions, the flat cockpit is the best option from an aerodynamic perspective. For riders like myself, who prefer a more conservative position, the V cockpit is the best performer. In these images called cloud plots, you can see the difference in behavior between the two systems and how each system complements its own aerodynamic performance. As you can see here, there's no wrong way to go. As a result of a long-term investigation of rider positions, we've specced the V cockpit on all commercially available models of the Time Machine 01, but the flat cockpit can be installed on any Time Machine 01 model. Additionally, when considering purchasing a frame module, or frame set as it's commonly called, there's a two-step process. One, choose your frame size, and two, choose your cockpit. There you have it, the V and flat cockpit systems. If you have any questions about this technology, please feel free to ask in the comments below or speak to your local BMC retailer. From all of us here at BMC, thanks for your time and attention, and we'll see you next time.